We're starting an eco-friendly community called Tierra del Sueño, and it's this beautiful piece of property overlooking a bay with really fun waves, and uh, it's got two ridges with a valley in between. There's gonna be about 19 half acre lots spread along the two ridges, which is really nice because all of the lots have ocean view and a few of them have nice whitewater views. And uh, it's an interesting project that's been in the works for a while and we finally decided that now is the time to make it happen. And it's a lot of work trying to figure out how to do it all. We gotta run power and uh, you know, it's not the same as just calling an electrician to come out and like hook up your power. Like we have to figure out where the power poles are and you know, where the transformers are and then how we're gonna run power along other people's fence lines to get up to the base of the property and then run it up to the ridge. So we're looking to find the nearest place where there's a big electrical pole to see how much it's going to cost to run electricity and I think we just found it. The local people are really excited that we're running power. We walked the other day with an electrician and um, you know some of the some of the neighbors saw us and kind of like, whoa, what are they doing? And then the next day when we were surfing, one of the guys paddled up to me and he's like, oh, you're going to run power? Because these are people that are, you know, have been living without it just because they can't afford to buy the lines and the poles. And so since we're running it right down the road past their house, they'll be able to tie into it. So it's actually going to benefit the whole community, which is, it's really cool. Oh, oh. The fun part is figuring out where the lot lines go. So we decided we wanted to do pretty big lots and maximize the view spread along lots and a lot of green space. So we took a big 100 meter tape measure out and pasted it off and then made a big rock pile at the lot lines and kind of looked and went, okay, yeah, this one has a good view. And then we'll mark off the next one to kind of maximize the view and spread it out in between all the lots. Mm -hmm. Sometimes that involved taking a machete and like chopping through like head high bush in order to figure out how wide the lots will be the other way. Hacking away, trying to get some property lines. I think you started this at about 94 feet and we're at 120. I'm taking the break in the jungle patch after measuring 200 feet of brush and trouble from the fence line to where we might put in a trail and road access into this area, which is sweet with some kind of big acacia maybe type tree there and a hikaro tree right here and uh, just cooling off after losing a few liters of sweat I think on that machete mission. <laughs>